Welcome back to my channel, it's Ryan the Collector Kid and thank you so much for joining me tonight. But sometimes you don't have to have a fancy collection room and lots of cabinets. You just need one cabinet with a fine selection of vintage Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Well, all of this are found at my mate's place, including a swap for a scratch figure. A bit more on that later. So I would scheduled uh, a catch up with my friend Dan, who I've known for a little while now. I was able to, um, to go over there and finally uh, get a glimpse at his cabinet, uh, which was filled to the brim of uh, wrestling figures and obviously his love for Teenage Mutant and Ninja Turtles. He had a great collection of uh, the original lineup of figures to a special shelf which just had premium figures in it. Now we're talking some of the big hitters here, uh, like Sumo Mikey, and obviously most importantly, Hotspot, and scratch. That's right, I was able to actually look at a scratch and hotspot, which is probably one of two in Perth. Very, very hard to find. Um, these figures were amazing, and uh, just being able to see, see the high caliber of um, Dan's collection was pretty, pretty awesome. He also had a nice uh, Foot Clan army collection down below uh, next to the Tetna drone, and obviously a Foot Cruiser, so that was really cool to see as well. Not only did I get to marvel uh, at his cabinet, but he also let me have a look at uh, some of his boxes which he had additional extra figures that he hadn't been able to set up yet. So we got to have a look through a box of uh, vintage turtle figures, um, which were pretty much complete in the packet and there were some really rare gems in there as well. We also had a look at uh, some different uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle merchandise. Even though I'm not a huge uh, WWF fan, uh, he did have a really great collection of original WWF Hasbro uh, figures and so it was really cool to kind of go through uh, the heavy hitters there, like the Bush Bashers, Hulk Hogan, and obviously a couple of other favorites as well. So I'm sure Scott Crusher uh, and Matt from Keep On Collecting will really enjoy these as well. And there was also some really cool VHS tapes uh, that he'd sort of collected over the years as well. Now when Dan came into my collection room a couple of months ago, he had seen a couple of items uh, that he liked. And one of them was the um, Fright Features Real Ghostbusters Ray figure, uh, which was carded. This brought back memories for Dan as it was one that he grew up with and uh, was very fun to, to get this. There was also a Turtles Raphael Mutant Bike as well, but Sally was not complete. So I brought these items over to see if we could do a bit of a trade or a swap. Now although there wasn't any uh, vintage turtle figures that he had to be able to do a swap, uh, as it wasn't really any seconds and he was kind of still completing um, a lot of the figures, he did have something that uh, I had been wanting to uh, get for a while and sort of been eyeing off. So there was one item that uh, we were able to do a swap for with the Ghostbuster figure. And um, although I'm not gonna probably ever be able to get one of these original figures, um, it was cool to be able to have a comparison. So what am I talking about? Yeah, I'm talking about the scratch figure. Now, as you know on eBay, to get the scratch figure these days, you're looking at between two to $3,000. And that's just for a loose scratch figure. That's not even uh, on the card. 
um, and usually it doesn't even come with the accessories. So for Dan to get one uh, in Perth is pretty awesome. So although I can't do an original scratch figure, he was able to swap it with a Super 7 scratch figure. So here it is. This is the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Super 7 scratch figure. And this is something that I have been eyeing off for a while. I think you can still get it on popculture.com.au and you can obviously order it um, on eBay as well. So obviously when he mentioned that we do a trade for a scratch figure, for my Ghostbusters figure, for that's uh, a no-brainer. So thank you again, Dan, for helping me out with getting this one. And I'm looking forward to putting it on display next to my other turtle figures as well. Now, although it's not a line that I collect, and I usually do collect vintage lines, um, I couldn't pass up this opportunity. So let's have a look and see what the scratch figure looks like. I love the purple packaging with the bright Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles logo there. I just love the greens and the reds, um, they really pop on there. Looking at the back here, we can see an emblem uh, with the scratch figure head uh, on the back here. And Super 7, from what I've seen online, uh, really make um, some pretty awesome toys. As I said before, it's not really a line that I usually collect, but when this came up, I just had to get it. So here we go, we're gonna lift this up here. Here we have the scratch figure. Now this is obviously a recreation of the original figure, obviously with um, a bit more modernized looks and feels to it, but it's really cool to be able to have a representation of the scratch figure. And I really do hope that we would get a re-release of the scratch figure at some point, um, because as soon as that comes out, I will be trying to track that one down. But uh, yeah, you can see here that they've obviously a different swappable head, bag of money here, dead fish. He's got a little inmate uh, sidekick as well. And they've added the ball and chain uh, here as well, which the original one didn't come with. Now in the back here, they've also tried to replicate uh, the original yellow uh, accessories that you would get with the original scratch figure. So. Again, that's a really nice nod to that as well. Now looking at the back of the figure here, the attention to detail on the back of the packaging here is really nice as well. We've got an old power box up the top here as well with some turtle stickers. We've got a Book Clan print as well. And I love the graffiti effect as well. We've got a small description of the Scratch character as well. So I'll read that out. Scratch the crafty crook cat. He's been sentenced to nine life terms. He's busted out of jail nine times. Now this flea-bitten feline is free to frolic with the fettered foot clan. Scratch is the meanest street cat you're likely to meet. As if pre-chance you do not run into this mutant mongrel, run him over before he scratches you senseless. But beware, cause Scratch is the master of trickery, that's how he gets out of jail all the time. He may fool the fuzz by offering them a piece of criminal cake gum. Then it's swipe swipe and Scratch is off running with his swindling sidekick, Jailbird. So there you go, that's how I got the Super 7 Scratch figure. And I'm really happy to get that into the collection. And it's gonna obviously sit nicely with my uh, turtle collection in the collection room. So there you go, what an awesome night, be able to spend some time at Dan's collection room. Have a look at the different variations of figures and some really rare ones in there that I've never seen before as well. And obviously not only that, but also be able to go through his boxes and uh, relive those memories uh, with Dan as he sort of hadn't really looked at them in about sort of five or 10 years, which was really cool as well. So did you give in to this, the Super 7 Scratch figure fever? Let me know in the comments down below if you actually have a Super 7 Scratch figure. 
uh, would love to know. Or if you don't want to comment on YouTube, you can hit me up on Instagram at Ryan the Collector Kid. So that's all I've got for you tonight. But thank you so much for staying with me to the end of the episode. If you've liked what you've seen tonight, please like and subscribe. It will help me create more content. And boy, do we have some more awesome episodes coming up very shortly. But stay safe, stay healthy, have a great week. And you know who you're going to call? Ryan the Collector Kid. See you later.